What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to a stipulation draft here, supplied by none other than Danny DB1990 himself, Dan Brown. And uh, the stipulation here is Twitch plays magic. So uh, the first card, does the card have to be spelled right? No. I'll understand if it's not. If there, are, if there's a, Mar please try to spell the whole card name though, because if there's Marari's Wake and Marari's, uh, no, Parallax Wave and Genesis Wave in the pack, I'm not gonna know which one you're you're naming. Also, similarly, don't just name cards randomly and hope they're in the pack, um, because that's not fun for anybody. Like I just said, because that forces me to look through the entire pack to see if the card you're naming is in there. And then uh, it's just wasting time because we don't have that much time. It's going to come down to the wire on, on the later picks where we're going to have like four seconds, seven seconds, you know, and uh, I want to be as efficient as possible and make sure I can read the comment you are making. And then at the same time, pick the card and then go back to the, go back to the chat. So Yeah, you can prepare a card and wait for it to appear. But if you're just spamming card names that are not in the pack, I will time you out because it's not it's not going to make the, the draft enjoyable for anybody. So let's give it a go. I will also say once I select a card, I will say next pick in the chat. Yeah, it could be the most popular choice, but I don't have a way. I don't have an efficient way to count them. I don't have to wait. I don't have an efficient way to be like, here, let me let me count up 15 different suggestions and make sure I get the one. Like, there's just not enough time between picks is the thing. All right. Oh, Nis uh, Nissa. Yep. All right. Okay. Danny, Danny, if you could do that between picks, that would be great. Danny, if you can do the stop and I will say next pick, that would be fantastic. If you guys are still naming cards after we have said stop, uh, that is unappreciated. Karn, all right. Karn is, Karn is gonna do it. Okay, you guys are... <laughs> I mean, there's, there's a certain amount of lag too, so it's it's whatever. Uh, Ula. Yep. All right, Ula Mog. This is this is gas though. Like you guys. <laughs> it's going. It's it's we're, we're it's all right so far. You guys are respecting the. Uh, the barriers here. So after I, the fr it's the first comment after I say next pick, right? So you want to look for me saying next. I guess the lag is rough though. Mm. Anyway, I'm gonna say next pick as soon as the the pack comes up for me because that's the earliest it's gonna happen, right? There's no way you're gonna be able to see it before I do. So if I say next pick as soon as the pack pops for me. Then, uh, also, if you guys see, um, if you guys, if you guys do have lag, then just be sure to refresh. Oh, wow. Kozilek and Ulamog. Oh, you guys are. Also, the sooner I pick this, I'm going to, I'm going to wait a little bit because it, it lets you guys get it out of your system. And, uh, if I pick it immediately, you guys are still going to have like 15 comments after I pick it. And then if the next pack pops, it's really awkward. So me waiting is nice to, uh, it's a nice way to separate it. <laughs> you guys are getting so lucky here. Oh, man. Wow. I have to take Verdant Catacomb because Elk Tears said Verdant Catacomb over the Tooth and Nail when we have Kozilek and Ulamog in our deck. Well. 
<laughs> Super awkward. I guess we're having a good time. Yeah, you want to fix, you want to make sure you have all your colorless mana for your 10 and 11 drops. All right, Radical and Mystic it is. Oh, Tooth will come back, huh? Yeah, there's going to be two cards in that pack, and I think Tooth will probably be one of the two cards in the pack, sure. Three cards in the pack. Yeah, it'll be Tooth and two other cards. I mean, it's fine. It's all it's all in good fun. The whole point of this is not assuming we're going to get a good deck out of it. However, we have a decent deck right now. Tooth and Nail really would have put it over the top, but some people just want to watch the world burn, so... Cult. <laughs> cult. <coughs> okay, we'll do cult. We'll do cult. See, the funny thing is, if there was another card with the name Verd in the title in the last in the last pack, I could have actually been like, well, I don't know which card you mean, so I'll have to go to the next one, and then it could have been Tooth and Nail, but... All right, you ready? Oh, we are we are getting pretty lucky here. <sighs> Elk tears, do me a favor, please don't ruin our draft just for like the memes of it, because like I'd, I I would rather have fun when I'm drafting. So if you're just gonna name like Verdant Catacomb and Nickel Bolas, just like just don't. Because we're mono green right now, and now we're going to have to take Nickel Bolas because you were the first one to say it. When there's, like, really good green cards. <laughs> it's not it's not judgmental, man. It's literally just, like... Like, it just seems like you're being deliberately... Have fun with it? Oh my god, dude. Okay. Okay. We got Slime. There we got Cultivate. We can splash it. We can get two of the four colors that are not green. <laughs> uh, no, I see... For the next pick, I see... Uh, no, I, I saw Nicol Bolas and then Carney T. Uh, Beast Whisper or Whispered Elemental? This is, why, this is why you have to say the whole name. There's two cards with Whisper in the name. So I have to go to the next one. Beast Whisperer. Uh, okay. This is why I literally said make sure you say the whole name. Because of this reason. Uh, Beast Whisperer is what we're going to go with. Uh, Garrick. Alright, we got it. Not 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 a, not a hard pick there. <laughs> Nickel bullet. Like I just feel like we're not even gonna be playing this. Like it's just a wasted pick is all. Oh yeah, we're not exclusively a mono green deck. We just have mono green cards. Oh man, no mortal sun. I guess that's fine. We have a bunch of planeswalkers, so. Yeah, gross VGJ rep JN. That that is a good. That is actually a good. Uh... I tried to get you this sun. I appreciate it, buddy. I appreciate it. You guys, gotta be quick. All right. And then we got this guy. Okay. Pack two. You guys ready? Oh, man. We're first picking ooze here. All right. Josh. 
you're a you're a monster, but you gotta do it. Yeah, the tooth didn't wheel. Real surprising. Who saw that coming? Okay. Also, I'm not mad, dude. I'm just I'm just literally trying to I'm just making a request that if you make a suggestion, like don't just do it cuz it's a funny like meme. Like I it just it's fun cuz that's funny for like 3 seconds and it's not anymore. You know. What do we got here? Thrun was the first one, so we're going to be thrunning. Should have just done it as the Danny B. Danny DB plays magic, and you have to take what. Well, wouldn't isn't that the same as you just draft? What, what isn't that just you drafting? Taking a fetch land over a tooth and nail when we have a Kozilek and an Ulamog in the deck. When these are almost invalidated if we don't have a way to cheat them into play, like, that's kind of a meme, dude. Nailed it. Mystic is good. I appreciate that. So you're leaving because you can't convince me? That's weird, man. This is a, this is real passive aggressive, dude. I'm going to assume it's Elvish Mystic and not Murmuring Mystic. If you guys want to clarify. Okay, Elvish Mystic it is. Okay, I think we're picking natural order here. That's a feeling I'm getting. Okay. I like how Elkters is like, you got Kozlek and Ulamog? I'm going to take Burden Catacomb instead of Tooth and Nail. Oh, I'm going to take this Nickel Bolas in the mono green deck. Guys, it wasn't a meme. It was a totally legitimate pick. <laughs> I'm going to leave now. I'm not even going to watch anymore because of that. All right, that's weird. That's a weird choice, but okay. All right, so in natural order it is. And like I said, I'm not even mad. I'm not even upset. I don't mind that he did it. I just asked him not to. And if he was like, all right, I was just memeing. I apologize. No big deal. I would have been like, okay, cool. But if you're going to sit here and be like, me taking Nickel Bolas is not a meme. I'd be like, it is though. <laughs> then what what that's not even how i think you meme so friggin hard and so friggin often that you don't even know when you're doing it anymore because this is like how are we casting this off of our one verdant catacomb <laughs> it was a hate pick in a, in a league draft hey okay anyway elk tears worth noting i love you buddy What do we got here? Ground, grounds. Are there is there more than one ground? Because you guys are killing me with this. We're taking the fertile ground, obviously. Thank you. Spencer, welcome back with the resub. Really appreciate it. You are awesome, my dude. Welcome back. Uh scooter is definitely not better than fertile ground in the mono green deck. I, I don't agree with that at all. Especially with things like Garrick existing. That is a late tree speaker that I'm very okay with. Jiraga Jiraga. 
if it's ambiguous and we don't have time, I'll just pick one. If it's ambiguous and we have the time, I'll just get the person to clarify. I love this. I love this Frank plays magic. This Twitch plays magic here. That's actually turning out to a decent green deck. What do we got here? Command, Lotus. Yeah, we, Command was first, so we're gonna be primal commanding here. <coughs> oh, I see a Zenith. I'm a simple man. I see a Zenith. I put it in my pile. I don't actually love Zenith here, but I think it's, I mean, it's it's the pick, right? It's like, we, gotta, we don't have a choice, but because we have all these, like, Ulamog, Kozilek, -like Titan boys, I do kind of like Mana Confluence because of this Nicol Bolas, but what can you do? All right, harmonize it is. Harmonize it is. Okay, these are actually these are pretty ridiculous. Yep, that's a this is actually insane. Like I I almost feel like the deck is building itself, which is kind of nice. I mean, it's a, it's it's okay. It's a rewarding feeling. No, 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 night. All right, we did it. Oh my God, last pick plow under? Last pick? Get out of here. Get out of here with this. That's unreal, dude. Oof, Bay loss. I would have said carry added here, but I mean, come on, it's probably gonna table anyway, not like it matters, but yeah. All right. Um, by 31, you said, uh, you can change it if you want because you were the first person to pick. So it's up to you what you want to do. It's either Bailouts or Carryout. It's totally up to you. Okay. You were the first person, so you would be the one to pick. So, no, it's fine. All right. Um... <clears throat> Because that was also the second and the third suggestion. And the fourth and the fifth and the sixth and the seventh, the eighth, the ninth. That was, yeah, that was unanimously the 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 suggestion of, like, the top nine people, so. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, Jade Light is the first. The first of its name. All right, we're going to take that. You guys are making me pass the Consecrated Sphinx. Not reasonable. <laughs> it's like, I swear to God, if you guys mess this up, <laughs> Elk Tears be all like, Niv Mizzet. Elk Tears, I appreciate that response. We were, yeah, but okay, we were four cards green, but we also had Ulamog and Kozilek, right? So, like, at that point, it was six cards that fit into the green deck. And I think you, I think we both know, I, maybe maybe you don't, I don't know, but I, I mean, I would play these guys, and I don't care about the cast trigger. I would put both of these guys into play with a tooth and nail, and I would win on the following turn because Annihilator 4 and X selling 20 cards of the library. I'm, I'm, like I said, not upset. Not a big deal. I appreciate, I seriously do appreciate your response. And, uh, I will, I will leave it be then. Uh, wall. 
Wall of Blossoms? Over Jitte? You got serious problems. I would even take more than Power Stone over that. All right, so... Yeah, all right. Wall of Blossoms it is. <coughs> Primus, oh man, my, oh, I didn't even see the Primus in here. I was literally leaving it up to you guys. Elk Tears, I love you, buddy. Matt, I love you. You're my favorite. Um, no worries at all, dude. I appreciate the response, and I think uh, it, it makes more sense when you when you do say it like that, when you actually explain it, because I think we both know you are a uh, a high level memer. So I, I think it's. <laughs> Uh, I think it's easy to to get the to get the intent confused there. Growth, ramp growth, growth, wake. Yeah, I like I, I like growth here. We don't really have a way, an efficient way anyway to uh to get a white source for the wake. So I think we just stick with the green. We have twenty nine cards right now. Oh my god. Also, I don't know if these are even playable in the deck because we don't have a ton of ramp. Like, we have... Maybe we do. I think we can cut Kozilek. Speak of the devil. Cobra! 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 This is from the G.I. Joe movie. You guys remember this? I also don't mind Nykthos. There are nine cards. What if this Nykthos is the last pick? I bet it's going to be Kodama's Reach or Nykthos. I was literally going to say, like, the fetch came in handy, dude. I was like, look at that. We got a fetch land for this Lotus Cover now. Oh, the tracker before the Garrick? Wait, there's no tracker in this pack. That was from the previous pack. That's great. Garrick it is. I like Garrick because we have Fertile Ground, so that's pretty nice. Zero, 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 stop, zero, zero, zero. Oh, man. All right. We're going to have a lot of cuts here. <laughs> and the bailouts come back like you do. Oh, this deck looks ridiculous right now. This is hilarious. I knew you guys were going to say Farseek, but it actually does nothing in our deck because we have no other colors. So I think ideally we would have taken Dragon Lord Tarka because we can still get it with a Green Sun or cast it off of Rattleclaw Mystic. But you guys taking Farseek here is pretty silly because we have no other lands we can get in our deck with it. It gets nothing in our deck, but we're going to have to take it because you guys all picked it. Put in a swamp. <laughs> Easy game. What what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Elk tears be all like Niv Mizzet. <laughs> That's just a meme. That's a meme. You guys said Domri, Domri it is. Uh, a braid. All right, sounds good. Sulfur Falls does help us cast this Nickel Bolas, guys. I just wanna, I just wanna be clear. <clears throat> Ooh, Kavu over Rhythm. Interesting. Rhythm, actually. Oh, dang it. You messed up. You done messed up, A.A. Ron. Okay, was too, you were too slow. Kodama's Reach was the last card in the pack. I ended up taking Excavator just because it was there. Okay. 
Okay. I like this. You guys, man, you guys with this far seek, that was hilarious. You're like, far seek. And I'm like, eh, you know, it literally says get a land that's not in your deck, right? Yeah, you guys understand why it's not that great here, right? We have 29 cards. Oh, this is an embarrassment of riches. Uh, Natural Order can get Woodfall, Crater Hoof, Avenger, or Rampaging Bailoffs, which is actually, this is a pretty good deck for uh, for Natural Order targets. I don't love Beast Whisperer. It just hasn't really done anything we needed. We can have like a Wall of Blossoms. It's one of the weaker two drops. Like we can probably cut one of these four. I think Lotus Cobra, Lotus Cobra is probably the weakest just because it doesn't guarantee you mana. Like Fertile Ground, Rampant Growth, Rattleclaw, and Sylvan Carry Added all are always going to produce one if they survive. Lotus Cobra may not. Uh, I kind of like Fauna Shaman just because you can... Search for up these search for up these fat boys. Sorry for botching the picks by going for speed over reading. That's okay, buddy. I appreciate it. <laughs> we fixed one. You only missed like one of the last picks, which is like Kabu versus Rhythm. We were probably gonna be playing it anyway, so it's not a huge deal. I I appreciate it though. Uh, if a deck has creatures, I don't think Wall of Blossoms is ever better than Jitte. If there was two decks, <clears throat> and one of them had creatures in it, and the other didn't... No. If there were two decks, and they both had creatures in them, and one of them had Wall of Blossoms, and the other had Umazawa's Jitte, in no situation is the deck with Wall of Blossoms ever going to be better. Oh my god. I feel like, I feel like anyone who's ever cast a Jitte does not agree with you. Biogenic ooze is great. I've never, I've never uh, disliked having biogenic ooze, and like the biogenic ooze are, is just. Also, Josh, don't need to be sorry, buddy. Like the the whole point is you guys are drafting it, not me. So, don't you need to attack with just say to be good? That's true. Uh, I don't ever want to slide side slime in. I think s having acidic slime in your main deck is one of the main things you want to do in cube. And I feel like the, the green decks I have an acidic slime in the main deck uh, are significantly more successful than the decks I don't have an acidic slime. I'm going to cut the... We already have Harmonize. We have uh, Primal Command. I th and we, like, we have a bunch of ways to get cards. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut the Beast Whisper. We're also down to 13 cards now, so... I mean, like, but also, like, you can't say this deck wins by ordering, <clears throat> by ordering into hoof. Like, <clears throat> when wall draws you what you need. Like, we have seven other creatures: one, two, three, four, five, six, six cards uh, like, that we can play before turn three to like to get natural. Order. I don't think we necessarily need wall of blossoms to do that. Whereas Jitte is a very, very powerful way to gain life, kill opposing creatures, and anyway, uh, it doesn't matter. It's a good card. I think I think your opinion is bunk. Got him. <laughs> Garrick Relentless and Garrick Wildspeaker, are they both good here? Maybe. I just want to play 25 cards and 16 lands. <laughs> we, we got each other. <laughs> Twitch picking side... Oh, the one we sideboard? Yeah, that's totally fine. Yeah, I like Garrick Relentless and sideboard. My, my, the thing I like about Garrick Relentless is that he kills creatures. And if they play, like, obnoxious, like Thief of Sanity or something, I'd rather be able to have a Garrick Relentless to just kill a creature. So, that is uh, something I enjoy. I would almost, almost rather have it than Primal Command, because we already have Natural Order and Green Sun Zenith. I'm actually going to keep the Garrick until I got the Primal Command. Uh, we took out the... We're just running 16 forests. Just the six 16 forests. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, seems good. I'm game. Uh, fetch could be good because of the Avengers and the Bailiff. Because we have two cards that, that interact favorably with Landfall. I can, I can agree with that. I did. I read it out loud. I said one bunk buck. Did I not say one bunk buck? Anyone who thinks you should cut plow has never played 
a plow off curve on like turn three or four. Plow is a card that's going to win you games. Uh, I will keep this hand. <clears throat> Yeah, even plow on turn five is basically just putting them. They go to three lands and they have to draw two lands in a row. They don't get. They miss two draw steps. No, it's pretty crazy. Yes, we definitely kept. Uh, we definitely kept green sun in the deck. Well, that was rude. What can you do, I guess? <clears throat> mm -hmm. Uh, graveyard. And we'll hit a free land. All right, so we can't even block Rav Gragavan anymore. That's unfortunate. Old man Kerwitz office. I guess we could have left this on top and then the second time put it in the graveyard if we really wanted to. And then we draw a forest. Okay, you got it. I love Wild Growth Walker. That card is unbelievable. Obviously in standard, not in limited, but maybe in limited too. It's a 1-3 for 2. What more do you want? Well, next time we get to Nissa, untap all the lands, beast within a land, perhaps, and then play Woodfall Primus, even if we kill one of our fifth land. Hmm. <clears throat> Although, just keeping beast within to kill, like, <laughs> twin is also pretty good. Yeah, this would have been a tooth and nail. <clears throat> that we could have tooth and nailed next turn. For a crater hoof behemoth. What a time to be alive, guys. Nope, take another three. We're not doing anything here. Shut up and take my money. One crisp new Mike B. Spinebuck. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. His actual name is Mike Spinebuck. So it, that, that makes sense. That's his, that's his author name. That's his pseudonym for when he... That's his pen name. <clears throat> sure. You got it. Congratulations. I did it. I miscalculated his spell that cost a lot of mana. Do you see? Do you see the 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 spell that I have countered with my spell? <laughs> Got him. Did we really get him? I don't know. Are we gonna lose to uh, Thunderbolt Hellkite here? That'd be sick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eh, fat chicken. Okay. These lands, these draws have not been ideal. 
So we take one, two, three, four, five, six next turn, and then we get to play Woodfall Primus, and then we die because they have a floaty boy that we can't deal with. That's unfortunate. Yeah. Shut up and take my money. Nerd Frank, blink twice if Bro Frank has you tied up. <laughs> <clears throat> Watch your YouTube content for a long time. First time I catch a stream. Really thank you, man. Thank you. Really, Joe Folius, thank you so much. Really appreciate it, buddy. This is where they exquisite firecraft us. Are you ready? I'm ready. I was born ready. That, that works too, I guess. Okay, so you got a lot of burn. You got a lot of, you got a lot of, got a lot of heat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> We'd love to bring in this guy, but we don't have an efficient way to uh, cast it. We have Fertile Ground, Rampant Growth if we add one, one Plains. Summon Carry added, Cultivate, and the Plains itself. I guess with one Plains we get five sources. It's not terrible. Bring in Primal Command for Plow Under, I guess. Hey, so you got a lot of burn. That don't impress me much. <laughs> got the burn, but do you got the touch? I'm going to play Wall of Blossoms over Prana Shaman because it blocks a little bit better and... Uh, Still, it still nets us a card. I like Thrun. I wish I had a, a room a room for a Thrun. Could take out the Ulamog for Thrun. I like that better. Take out some of the high end. And we still have Crater Hoof, Woodfall, Green Sun to get him. Uh, I don't love Scavenging News because I don't see a lot of creatures going to the graveyard. I mean, I guess our own could go to the graveyard, but... Usually it's just a 2-2 two -two for 2 and you're going to gain like 1 or 2 life off of it, but... I do like carry added into Thrun here, though. You miss my cheer? How is Mike's leg, by the way? Have they fitted the bionic ones yet? Has he thought of his superhero name? Also, has Twitch built a better deck than you? Should we now get you pro tour? Yeah, you guys can have it. That seems fine. Oh, we could have brought in Farseek just for that one. The problem with that is if we draw the one planes, it's a lot worse. Because it does nothing. So... Well, we were playing Plow Under, but I feel like this deck is, uh, I think you want higher impact cards for the Plow. Thrun seems pretty good here. Just play one of each other land is good. 16 forests, one swamp, one mountain, one island, one plains. I don't really know what more you need. I will block. And I'll assume you don't have like brute force to give plus three plus three. <clears throat> oh no, not this guy. We're blocking this guy. Yeah, there we go. That's what I meant to do. <laughs> Why'd you add all those shitty basic lands to your deck? Uh Twitch made me do it. <clears throat> So they got they gotta miscalculate again. I kind of just want to acidic slime a land, but so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fertile ground on here. And they get one, two, three, but then they could they could still miscalculate this, right? So we'll jade light first. I'm gonna crack this because if we see something good, I want to be able to keep it. Avenger, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that seems fine. <clears throat> this is a plant as well. These are both plants, so they're going to get counters from the Avenger. 
if you want to if you want to miscalculate this you are more than welcome to do so my friend Oh, here they're just gonna kill us, right? I didn't even. I, I was so I was so concerned with like they haven't done anything exciting, that they're just gonna tap our guy and kill us, right? Here we go. Here we go. Okay, that was not a miss. That was not a a splinter twin. One, four, five, six, seven. We got it. Next time we can go fertile ground on this, add one, two, three, four, five, and acidic slime. We can do both of these dudes. It seems good. Do both of those dudes. <clears throat> I got a new computer chair made for fat guys so I can stop breaking them. <laughs> I have no idea what that what that emoji mosaic is. Twitch is so weird. Well, I know what it is. Like, that's just a small version of the big one. I still don't know who that is or what it means, though. Um, huh. Well. I mean, Woodfall Primus is strong. Can we win if we have Crater Hoof? Crater Hoof is going to have three. So it's going to be 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. This is 15 and you're at 12. Anytime someone says bro, I just assume they're automatically being passive aggressive. <laughs> hey, bro. I'm not memeing. Oh, all right. My bad. like we I feel like we're fine I, I feel like we're good <sighs> I'm not your bro brah I'm not your brah bro shadow allows you to block but block other shadow creatures. <laughs> so we can go carry added into Wall Blossom's Ramble Growth. That seems good, right? Do I kind of want to just get a land out of the deck? Probably. Wow, every game with this? Now I just want to play Sylvan Carry added to block. So I'm going to do that. Next time we can just play Garrick Relentless and kill this. Yeah, it seems good. Do you have a favorite cube outside of Legacy Vintage Cubes? Um... I mean, outside of those two, the only other one is, like, the modern cube, right? Like, I don't know if the... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, boy. I think our only... Our only saving grace here is that they have... They won't have a creature on the board to jete up. Yikes. That's fascinating. And this is why I like Garrick Relentless. Because it just kills creatures that you uh, otherwise wouldn't have access to do. Yeah, the Legendary Cube wasn't wasn't great. Uh, I like the Uncommon Cube. I wasn't great at it. I actually thought I was pretty, pretty bad at the Uncommon Cube. I could not find the routes to victory. But um, I still enjoyed it. And I thought a lot of the cards were very, very fun. So...
毛。Well, it's going to cost them four mana. But then they kill this immediately, so... One, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> Four, five, six. Yes, yeah, so we can go Rampant Growth. Next turn, play Avenger. Five, six, seven. And then uh, make two guys. Yeah. I don't care if they hit once with the Jitte, because they're going to have to pay four. They're going to have to play their whole turn just to equip it to this, because it gets countered after the first time. So if they want to spend four mana to equip Jit, that's fine. And they do. <sighs> yeah, I feel like making six guys with uh, uh, with two counters on them, six two threes and a five five is probably strong enough to... Uh, I mean, I'm going to be real sad if they have Force of Will. Oh, buddy boy. I'm going to be real sad if they have uh, Force of Will and or Days here. They did not. I would also be sad if they had Dismember. They did not. Hmm. Uh, days is not a good reason playing the fetch after the Avenger is a good enough reason because then your guys become two threes and they can't just machine gun off your entire team with a single uh, Jitte Needlessly reckless? I disagree with you. Okay, so let's say we play around days, right? They attack again. Let's say we play the land first. We play the land first, then we play Avenger of Zendikar. Now we have an uncracked Verdant Catacombs. They daze us. We have to crack the Verdant Catacombs now to get a forest. We pay for the daze. Avenger of Zendikar resolves. We have six zero one one tokens. Okay, and now we have to either A, draw a land to get any counters whatsoever. And if we don't, even if we do... They're still going to attack again next turn, kill two of our O1s, and then connect, kill our Garrick, use two more counters, and kill two more of our O1s. So now we have an Avenger with two one one two O1 tokens left. And we're just hoping that we're just hoping we draw a land to make them even slightly larger. Just because we hope they don't have a daze, like I'm gonna let them have the daze and then completely uh blow them out if they don't have days. Which we didn't even see in the first game. So, like, you want me to play around a card that we haven't seen once yet in three games. Um, that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're like we're denying ourselves twelve power in order to just play around a card they may not even have in their deck, and then we win the game. So I feel like they're in a much better shape if they are able to attack again and kill four of our tokens that have zero counters on them. So I mean, I'm not defending. I'm not like I'm not listening to the haters so much as like explaining the play because they clearly don't understand. Why no tree speaker there? Because they have a they have a, a jitte, so it's just they just literally kill it. If we try to level it up, they just remove one counter and kill it. Like there's just no point to it. Whereas if we ever get a Cidic slime and kill a jitte, then we can just play a a, a Draga tree speaker. So I mean one twos are fine, but there's no reason to like 
there's no reason to put ourselves in a worse position simply because they may have a card. Like, they're just as likely to have Force of Will, so, like... I keep getting these messages. Okay. Don't kill this dude. I am getting the internet fixed. Wow, another red deck, huh? Okay. So <laughs> we have like a mil. Wow, they're giving me so much land here. It's incredible. Uh, one, two, three, four. We're going to harmonize because we have nothing better to do. Play land. Play carry added. Well, at least we can block now. <clears throat> yep, don't care about any of these things because I feel like we're just in... We're in a head shape. Green Sun Zenith? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight mana, so we can go get like Avenger of Zendikar. That's pretty insane. Is there a card from War of the Spark you want to build a deck around, or just a favorite card? Yes, and you can find the, you can find it out tomorrow on CoolStuffInc.com. I wrote an article about it actually, and you will be able to see it there. That's literally what I talk about this week, so. Bailoth made the main. I was just going to go to Avenger of Zendikar. But actually, your, your, your suggestion might have been better. However, we just win next turn if we get to resolve Crater Hoof, so. If we survive here. Oh, God. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a yikes for me, dog. Wow, this actually might. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're going to six. Getting a green sun zenith again. We have to block five, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, we're totally alive here. This is great. Block you. Uh, block you. If we block you, we get one, two, three, four, five, six. So we got to block one more. And we take one, two, three, four. And this leaves us with one, two. Can we still kill them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we don't really have an option. We still have to, we have to block, so. No, Pyrokinesis is not in the cube. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh God, we're one shy of like being able to attack with this. So we'd have what? Five, ten, and they each get ten. Yeah, we just win here, right? Because everybody's getting plus five, plus five. I got a Hell Rider too, dude. Oh, Hell Rider, keep on rolling, Mississippi Moon, keep on riding on me. 
I keep on a run. See, and the thing about that matchup is like there were no creatures in either graveyard. So scavenging is, seems good because it says gain life on it. But the situations where you're actually gaining life are uh, very rare in certain certain matchups. The life is usually an after effect where you're like, oh, I can also gain life with this, which is nice. So you're coming in, you're coming in. And then we're adding one plane. If Twish plays gets a trophy, we get to run it back. Maybe. Probably not tonight, though. I do have to go. I have to get some things done before the mall closes. This hand is fantastic. Well, the problem with green decks is, is I don't think scavenging even helps you stabilize against red because, like, you don't have creatures in the graveyard. Right, like you're not you're not killing things, you're not removing their creatures from the board. Um, oh, I mean, like I guess there's a, there's a, it's possible that they just kill yours, and then you're just eating your own creatures. But like, yeah, like it, it, it's it's more of a like you're already doing fine, and this is just gonna kind of guarantee it a little more. So they went to five on the play with the red deck. You still go to the mall? I do because I have to go get. I'm trying to buy some sneakers. Um, And I want to just get my shoe size, my foot size. Because I know we're at 12 in, like, boots and, and, like, an 11 in dress shoes. Or a 10 and a half in dress shoes. But I don't know, like, if I'm just buying sneakers, I don't know if that's, like... Why not just kill this and deal the extra damage? Like, whatever. They have three cards in hand? Sure. Land. Oh, oh we should have taken that out. I don't like that at all. I like Wall of Blossoms a lot more than I like that. We also should have played carry added here. Twitch account got hacked. That is weird. That seems good. Oh, I didn't even see that because I hate that it's like hidden over here where you're like, well, I didn't see that. Getting Woodfall next turn does seem pretty good. I, I would be happy to sack a Fauna Shaman for that. I don't know if I want to sack this, but if they have any spell, I'm just going to take two here. If they have any spell, I don't really want to lose our Sylvan carry added. I mean, that's actually pretty good. Well, one spell was Riftbolt, so they were already a 2-3. So. What's your favorite horror film excluding science fiction? Um... There was an actually an old horror film called The Gate that I watched when I was like really, like really young, and it had a lot of claymation in it, and uh, it was also very creepy. And if that's considered a horror, I would probably be that. One, two, three, four, five. We can also untap three. Nope, that's not going to do it. I do like Nissa here though, but I think we're just going to play. I think we're just going to Woodfall Primus. I believe it was called The Gate. Let me find out. Yeah. I guess it says it says fantasy, but it wasn't a good movie by any means. It was just a creepy movie that I saw when I was a kid, and I was like, this, this movie is ridiculous. Got Woodfall, Thrun, Jade Light Ranger, Crater Hoof, Ooze, Avenger, or Acidic Slime. I think we're just getting Woodfall here. I'm keeping you even further off of... Um, Hellrider, I guess. Yes, the gate was in the ground in their backyard. That is exactly the movie. Nailed it.
my god, it'll incinerate. So we go to three, and then we take, or we go to six, and then we go to four. Sure. One, two, three, four, five. I wouldn't mind something to be able to block. I guess we can actually, if they don't kill this, we can sack something. We can play this, sack it to, uh, to get like Knight of Autumn, and then just gain three. Gain four. Far. Gain far. Oh, I do like sacking Primus. That does seem better. <laughs> that does indeed seem better. All right, if you have a way to deal four damage to us and still hit us with the Chandra's, I mean, even if they play Hellrider here, we take three, four, five, and then we block the other two. That doesn't kill us. So they have two cards. If they have a way, to, if they, if their two cards combine, deal us four damage. No, that does not do it. I think they're probably dead then because this guy has Trample. So, yep, got it. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you're at six. You make a four, four. Do they have trample? Oh, God. So this is ten trample, and you only have... Yeah, so this is, this is actually game. This is 10 trample, so even if you put like these two in front, you still take six and the two here, so you have two blockers. This attacking with this cost them the game. Yep, they take two here. And they take six here, that's eight. And that is how you play the game of Magic the Gathering. Sweet red deck, bro. Man, Twitch did a good job. You guys are killing it. I think Vital. I just think this the Vital Force is one of the strongest mono green planeswalkers because it immediately puts you from five lands, five land, five mana, to nine mana, which is just a ridiculous jump. Yeah, we can keep this hand. We're on the play. Sylvan carry added into Green Sun Zenith for like a Jade Light Ranger is pretty cool. <laughs> like man they got past the tooth and nail like third fourth pick fifth pick but oh my god all these red decks dude I'm just gonna cast this now because next time we're gonna ooze and I don't really want to not do that we got rattle claw dry tree speaker jade light jade light's probably the best out of these I'll kill it 
That's fine. I mean, next time we get to play Biogenic Ooze, which is pretty strong. Um. Yeah, I think this is good enough. This has to be Irish Shaman. I'm pretty sure that's the only red card in the in the cube that has morph. I was gonna make a third mono red deck in a road joke, but it would be bad card. Yeah, well here we are. So, yep, that is fine. I mean, Searing Spear wasting Searing Spear on half a Biogenic Ooze is just fine. And it was an Irish Shaman. Carry Zev. I hate dropping Garrick down because he just. I mean, is it worth making a B? Like, we get to untap lands but not do anything with them. And this does have Megamorphs. Yeah, we'll just make it 33. If they want to use their, their activation on here, I think it's fine. I mean, they probably will. I'm sure they will. Oh, I got a little mountain. Look at you. Good work. So this is basically a 4-mana 3-3 that says prevent the next 2 damage that is dealt to you, which is fine. So if we sack this, we're getting plus 3, plus 3, so 6, 12, and 8, so they're like... Okay, let's just do that. Uh, you're going to one here? <laughs> sure. All right, well. Seems good. So you have to block all of these. Okay. Crater Hoof is a hell of a draw. Hell of a draw. We're at 17 against the red deck? Yeah, seems good. So we're going to board the same way we've been boarding. Against these red decks. Take out this guy. Bring this in. Take out Fauna Shaman for Wall of Blossoms. Bring in Knight of Autumn. Uh, I think I take out Beast Within. I think we did that last time. Bring up Brown Primal Command. Take out Plow Under. Take out the Ulamog. Bring in the Thrun. And I think that's where we were. Scavenging is probably not that bad, but we just—I rather—I don't think there's anything I really want to take out for it. Yep, <sighs> seems okay. Uh, I'm okay with this hand. Wall of Blossoms on two, Rampant on three. It's not super exciting, but... Yeah, we can grow here. The, the Wall of Blossoms doesn't do anything. I'd rather have four mana in case we draw Thrun or Garrick or Garrick or... Ha sure. <laughs> you got it. 
Oh, we do have some oozes. Yeah, you're right. We also have Plant Tribal with Wall of Blossoms and Sylvan Carry added. All of which can get counters on them. We have Uzi Plant Tribal. Wow, this guy, huh? This old chestnut. Well, we did not hit. So what do we go for? We just go for Jade Light Ranger again? We can get Knight of Autumn and gain. But that doesn't do anything. They're just going to deal the four back to us. Yeah, let's go for Jade Light Ranger now that we... Or we can wait till next turn and do this for five. No, we can't. We do it for four. Eh, which might be better, actually. Yeah, okay. Seems good. Yeah, because if we do it for four, we can get a Thrun, uh, which... While not super impressive, it does hold them off. And, like, you can't actually kill a Thrun with a Hellrider, so... Oh, well, that's pretty good. I'll kill your Dragon Tree Speaker. Rift Bolt, huh? Okay. Well, this is a more aggressive start. We got Thrun, Night of Autumn. Yeah, it's just Thrun. So we're going to take three and then f two. So it is five. Unless they kill the Jiraga Tree Speaker, which is... It's whatever. Oh, we're taking seven, actually, I guess, because they're going to attack with the... Yeah, that's pretty bad. Yep, we're probably just dead here. Jesus. That'll do, pig. All right. All right. Well, how are is a hell of a drug. We brought in all the life gain we had. Okay. Anything Anything else that's just good? We're on the play now, which is nice. I think everything else is fine. We could bring in Beast Within, but, like, I don't like the idea of trading a Hellrider for a Beast Within. Like, we're just going to be like, here's a different 3-3. Who's gains life, but as you may have noticed, there were probably zero creatures in the graveyards that game, so. I also don't want to play a 2-3 for 4 because, like, I don't have time to gain life. Like, that's just way too greedy. If I play, if I'm playing a, if I'm playing a, uh, if I'm playing a Beast Whisper on 4, <laughs> and then just saying go, like, they're just going to kill us. Like, they're going to play a Hazaret or a Hellrider, and we're not going to be able to block because it's a 2-3. I get to untap this. We can draw a two drop here. That'd be fan phenomenal. Right, but I'd rather play a different four drop on three instead of a instead of a two two or a threat a two three rather. Yep, never don't have it. Well, if I can draw a Jade Light Ranger here, I'm okay. <laughs> Brutal. Here comes Hellrider. I think we're just losing to the third red deck in a row here because they just have the nuts. Yep. Fantastic. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We just just casual nine mat nine damage here, I guess. Even if we play this, we block here. We take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. if they pump this guy. So, yeah, we're literally dead here. Fantastic. All right. Well, I think this deck was phenomenal. And we did a we did, we did did a sweet 2-1. Um, that's all you can really ask for. Twitch drafted this deck. And uh, I had no control over the cards that were drafted. So, that was pretty sweet. Thank you, Danny B. Really appreciate it, buddy. I, I'm glad you were here for this. And I'm glad uh, you helped contribute to the stream with, with it. Because it was, it was a pretty sweet experience. I always have fun with the, the Twitch drafts, Twitch plays. 
what have you. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out at mandatraders.com. Check me out at meundies.com slash franklapore. And check me out at coolstuffinc.com. I have an article that's going up this week. If you guys are checking out the article tomorrow, I will remind you again, but definitely check out the article and leave a comment on the article in the article itself so I know what you guys thought so that I can respond to them so we can have engagement there. And I uh, really appreciate that. But you guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.